What's up guys, my name is Carlos Roberto. Thank you so much for stopping by my YouTube channel this week. For those of you who haven't subscribed, please make sure you do so right now. And also, if you are subscribing, you're here because the notification bell notified you. Thank you so much. So today what I have for you guys is another great hair video. And this hair video consists of men dealing with receding hairlines and guys in particularly who have big foreheads as well. And I think it's very important for me to give you guys a guide that allows you guys to enjoy your hair and not necessarily just cut it because you feel like that's just what you're reading on the internet. So let's go ahead and begin this video. If you guys haven't followed me on Instagram, please make sure you do so right now. I upload every single day and there's a lot of BTS type things in daily life. If you guys want to get to know more about me there, Instagram at by Carlos Roberto, link down below. All right, let's go ahead and get into this video right now. A receding hairline is one of the most common types of hair loss. But not all guys need to shave their head to cope with a high hairline or a big forehead. And whether you're just starting to thin on top, were born with a very bad hairline, or have a widow's peak, today I will be talking about receding to high hairline hairstyles for men. The thing is, the more and more research I did on this topic, I realized that a lot of information online simply suggests men to face the reality and go bald or go for a shorter hairstyle. And I knew that I could create a hairstyle guide for you that fits across the board on different lifestyles for guys looking for a new hairstyle or some hair direction. In today's current men's hair trends, we're seeing a lot less of those shorter hairstyles like a skin fade and men are going for more of a natural fuller look using the texture and the natural placement of the hair to create the look. The sides are usually longer and so is the top and you will be able to do that as well after this style guide. But in order for you to understand these hairstyles and if they will work for you is by looking at your current hairstyle and also your hair type. The most common place for hair loss slash thinning is at the corners of your hairline. With the right cut, there are several ways you can balance out a receding hairline. So let's begin by looking at some haircuts that don't require you to lose it all and also allow you to keep the hair that you actually still have. So the first one right here is the French crop. This hairstyle is so amazing because it requires really no product to style and suits a lot of different hair types and also thinning levels. This is a very modern look and requires very minimal maintenance. As you can see, the length on the sides really fills the look and visually it, it's blended so well that you focus on the overall hairstyle rather than the receding hairline. Number two, the next is a medium length fade into where your hair loss begins. This hairstyle lands below the temples and above the ear, right in the middle of the sides of the head. The trick is to begin the fade where your hair loss begins. As you can tell, his sides are not super full, but not completely buzzed off either. This fade blending creates an illusion of fuller hair with the top slick back. It just looks so much more masculine. Number three for a more messy look is the messy crop. The messy crop is another excellent choice because it's timeless, simple, and gives the ability to go from a messy hairstyle to something more refined with nothing but a comb and some good old hair product. Depending on your hair type, you could utilize your natural texture, or if you have straight hair, then you could go ahead and just define how much length you actually need to hide your hairline by cutting the fringe very blunt. The next one is for those who want real length. There's the medium length middle part worn by our favorite hair guy, Johnny Depp. This current hairstyle is natural and the bangs really don't need to go over your forehead, but sit right on top. This fuller, this look is fuller around the sides and is really in right now and trendy. This look is all about details and no one will ever notice your forehead and it does a good job at drawing attention to your overall hairstyle as well. So it's just something that works so good. Number five, if you are past the medium length phase, congratulations, then the longer length middle part is for you, my friend. This look requires a little bit more time to achieve the actual length, but once you're there, the only thing you need to focus on is monthly trim routines and also how often you're going to be washing your hair. This hairstyle is best worn naturally with very minimal product and always down. There's a time and a place for a man bun or a hair tie. Hopefully no ponytail, but a man's gotta do what a man's gotta do, right? But honestly, the great thing about this hairstyle is that it'll drape right over the sides of your hairline and it will look so much more fuller and draw attention away from everything. And honestly, I've never even noticed Keanu Reeves' forehead. I don't know if you guys have, comment down below if you guys did. I had no idea he had a big forehead. Now number six, okay, so you don't really want a longer hair than the messy fringe is for you. The messy fringe is ideal for those who have a large forehead who have hair to give. 
The length is usually about two to three inches for the ideal length and the sides can be cut at your desired length, either very tight or a little bit lengthy. The messy fringe is very versatile and can be worn naturally over your forehead or with some slight product, it can actually be pushed up for more of a natural looking spike. Keeping this hairstyle full, your hairline will go unseen. Number seven, so you want a shorter cut, then the symmetrical undercut design is for you. This is more of a daring and just big on Instagram right now hairstyle. Just because it's daring, it doesn't mean that it's not in either. The undercut meets where your hair loss begins. And with a design like this, you can make the best out of your hair loss. This also will hide your hairline and overall your forehead and just make it disappear. This is a very edgy and bold hairstyle. Lastly is the messy comb over. Honestly, the messy comb over just evokes confidence and pure maturity. It's a classic haircut that men have been wearing since the early 20s. And whether you're balding or not, it will remain among the leading hairstyles that will never die and go out of style. The comb over works well for balding men by using the receding hairline as the lowest point in your hair's natural part line. And what this does is this gives an artificial sense of weight to your hair. So it will just look a little bit more fuller and you'll be able to fool people what we all want to do. So guys, that is what I have for you guys. These are the top eight hairstyles for you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Before we leave, let me know what hair type you have down below. And if you are facing hair loss problems, what is the biggest issue and concern? And also if I could help you by answering some questions, I could do that or by recommending you some products, then I'll do that as well. Comment down below what your biggest hair issue is right now at this moment. And also if you don't have any issues, just comment what your hair type is so I'll know exactly who to make hair videos for, and I know that I'm doing it for everybody, but wavy hair gang, curly hair gang, straight hair gang, just hair gang in general, thank you so much for coming to my YouTube channel and watching my video this week, I appreciate it. Also, what I've been using this week for or my hairstyles are Chapter Hair Styling Cream as a post styler, as a pre-styler, and I blow dry my hair, put a little bit on, gives my hair a little bit of uh, structure to it and a little bit of a hold, and I am using the Forming Cream by American Crew to top it off, giving me a nice shine, and it's also very pliable, and it just overall gives it a nice combination of almost like a very soft pomade. So if you guys are into cocktailing your products, check out Chapter and American Crew Forming Cream because it works really well. My hair is very wavy also, and it's very easy to wash out both products. So. Just an FYI. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it and also comment and share it for anyone who might need it. See you guys on my Instagram at Bye Carlos Roberto. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to put style on everything. Peace out guys.